I understand the principle and I'm aware of the function of, of beings that are representative of, I guess, the story and, and what God says. Um, but he's always spoken to me directly. It, it just seems like another intermediary if I've got to go through someone else or something else to talk to God. I think sometimes he may send, represent, like he sends angels or wisdom to engage with us. Um, if there's a particular reason, perhaps, I'm, I'm not really, I don't know what that reason might be because he's never done it with me, but I know he has done with other people and I'm not saying that that isn't okay. I mean, it is for those people that that happens to. I, it's just never happened to me and I've never really felt the need to pursue it. And I guess, you know, I'm just not into the Jewish sort of system or whole thing at all because I believe we live in a new covenant, which is all one man in Christ, not actually keep going back under the old covenant things. You know, A, we're not under the law, and B, we're not under the ceremonial system either, or the date system. You know, I don't live by Jewish festivals or feasts, because, well, they're Jewish festivals and feasts for a whole different culture. If people want to observe them, that's, that's up to them, I guess. I mean, I've, I've got no, if people want to, I just don't see the point, you know. Why, why, why celebrate Passover when you've got communion? <laughs> Jesus changed Passover into communion. Why go back to do something that he changed? You know, he introduced the new covenant meal. He didn't say to keep those old covenant feasts. And I, I'm not saying you, there aren't truth that comes out of the revelation of what they meant, but they're fulfilled in Christ. For me, every promise and every covenant is fulfilled in the new covenant in Christ. Therefore, I just don't find I'm drawn or, or in any way connected to any, no, like I wouldn't be to any other practices of any other religion. You know, essentially, I have a relationship with God and that, that's good enough for me. You know, um, and I, I guess God does speak to people through the media that they expect in a sense, because, you know, they, you know, it's like he will speak through the Bible if that's the only way people think he's going to speak to them. Does he prefer to speak through a book? No, but he will, of course. And if people have an expectation, he's going to speak through living letters or they have a desire that he would speak through living letters. He will, you know, um, it, does that actually validate it or make it the primary way that he speaks to everyone? No. And I think we all need to be free to pursue things, you know, in, in, our, in the way that he's made us to be, you know, and I'm very much um, not connected to any of that system at all. And, you know, and I don't really have a lot of history of any systems. You know, I wasn't brought up in, in a sort of Anglican system. I mean, I never went into an Anglican church other than to go and nick the collection or whatever, you know, when I was a kid. <laughs> well, yeah, but, you know, I never went in one until, you know, I was an adult when I was invited to speak in one. I mean, I'd never been in there. When they did all this weird stuff, I was like, oh, what, what is all this? You know, you know, kneel down, do this, do that, do the other. And then when they took communion, it was really weird because I just never, never experienced anything like that. Um, I guess I've got a fairly simple uh, relationship with God, which is just, hey, we hang out and we converse and we do stuff and he shows me stuff. And, and that's good enough for me. But I'm OK with it. I remember listening to a teaching on the living letters by Carl Whitehead, who's one of Ian's um, buddies. And it was great. And he, he broke down the word peace into the living letters and, and expressed it. And then I found it very, very familiar. And I looked in my journal and I actually found that God had told me virtually word for word exactly the same thing, but just talking to me about peace. You know, I, I, I thought, oh, great. That's great. You know, I, I wouldn't want to try and break down every Hebrew word into living letters to try and understand it because I think that would be a backward step when we have the Holy Spirit of truth who's promised to lead us into all truth and you don't need to learn Hebrew to do it 